What is up, everyone? It's Ricky Five Seven Two Return of Chance. Today is January Fourteenth, Twenty Twenty Three. And we're finally back online. I was having issues with my computer, but we got that fixed. So we're going to hop on and do a quick market watch. So today we're going to start off with Gamer's Choice, actually, and take a look at some of the pre-sales for Amazing Defenders. I honestly think a lot of these are a bit too high and might come down in price. Uh, so we have one for one sitting at 100 for Collector Rare. Uh, we have the pure, pure, Purely uh, sitting at 60. We have the... Other purely collector rare sitting at 60. We have is sold sitting at 60. Uh, we have actually this isn't that bad. Oh, uh, Gizmek at 50. There's a couple decks that play that, like um, the rank eight decks. Grand Maju, um, Orcus also plays it and stuff. So that's not too bad for 50 dollars. But it's sold out. Um, we might see some more posts like from YGO Daily later on in the week uh for pre-sale so be on the lookout for that but 50 bucks isn't too bad for gizmic uh we have the rescue ace turbulence at 50 for collector rare we have uh this one at 50 dollars as well we have the infernoble knight uh renault at 52 i'm re not really sure how i feel about that one uh since infernoble knights aren't really uh seeing too much play but i think there's a deck that uses this actually i'm not i don't recall which one but i think there was a deck besides the infernoble knight that was using this because i know this was like going up for a while uh but because it's getting reprinted it started to go back down but i'm not sure why uh th that one was going up uh but then we have the har the minkakos at 40 and 50 uh we have the hidden armory at 40 dollars then we have the Purely Noir Exceed at 40. We have a good amount of collector rares in this set. And then we have Card Trooper at 40. That one's pr that one could probably be popular on like a Edison format build. I would probably look into this one too for Edison format. There's a lot of fans of Edison format, so that might go up later on. And I think this is the highest rarity, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think does it have an OT? Let me know down in the comments. I'm too lazy to look look for it right here. Uh, we have the other Minkako at 40. The Quip Spell. The other Exceed at 40. Mm, we have this at 30. And I think that's it for Collector Rare, right? Oh, this is an Ultra Rare. Well, we start with the first Ultra Rare here at, at $30. Uh, and then we have the other Ultras at 30, 30. Oh, someone's really paying 30 for these. I guess this is like the the three of them that because you're if you're willing to pay thirty dollars for these ultra rares then that's pretty crazy. Uh, purely at twenty, then the rescue aces we have at fifteen and fifteen, rescue ace spell at fifteen, and then the other rescue ace spell at ten dollars. Minkako at fourteen. Bit. Let's see what else we got. Then everything else I think should be cheap from here. Uh, we have Ultra, Super, 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 one for one. Yeah, everything else should be like under like $5 in, on here. Super rare. It's sold. I actually invested in a couple of these. It's sold, but the Ultra rare version, I'm pretty sure they went down now. Uh, but I always thought it sold was a good card. I doubt it's going to go up higher until it sees more play because there's no deck like uh, that uses sold at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna go up. It's gonna take a while for it, those ultra rares to go up that I invested in. I would probably have a better chance if I try to pick some of these up at like 30 to 40. But let me know what you guys think about these uh, pre-sale prices. I'm not gonna go on TCG player because they're way higher than on here. Uh, but I definitely think these will come down uh, like a week or two after the release because these decks aren't really, you know. In, in the form, I mean, compared to like how the format is right now, these decks aren't going to be uh, too popular uh, to play with. I mean, someone's probably going to try to, you know, build a deck that could uh, could go head to head with tiers and cash tiers. But I don't think they're going to be able to. It's going to see it's not going to see a lot of success early on. All right. So moving on from the pre-sales, we're going to take a look at our first card, which is the Gene Raider token. Uh, so these we well, I took a look at them the other day and they had like 10 listings a couple of them around like five to six dollars But it looks like now they're Bought out to the point where there's only four listings and two of them are mine And the reason I listed them for like 15 and 17 dollars is because I think they could hit that price point if 
you know, Gene Raiders end up seeing some sort of play. We do have Gene Raider support coming out in Photon Hypernova with its new Exit, and then there's this new level 9 Gene Raider that extends basically and lets you summon from the grave. So I feel like if it were to see, like, you know, uh, some type of play, these could definitely hit that price point. But not only that, uh, compared to like other tokens, this token you actually play like four of because once the field spell triggers, and usually you have a a monster in a monster zone you get to summon four of these tokens to your monster zone uh so that's why i think it could hit that price point and not only that you're constantly going to be playing them if you're playing the generator deck so you're constantly going to have them like you know hit the field at different times so i feel like this token has that kind of potential i might be wrong though so let me know what you guys think down in the comments uh do you think this token could hit that price point or you think it's going to come back down and not see any play at all so the next card is also a Gene Raider card. Uh, these were sitting around like $3 early December or early January. Oh, $4 actually. They're sitting like uh, $4. And uh, right now it looks like they're starting to head up to the $5. Basically with shipping $5. Uh, $6 with shipping. Six dollars with shipping. That's two dollars shipping plus four, so that's six dollars. Six dollars, six fifty, and going up to seven dollars as well. Let's see the second page. Second page is like seven-ish dollars, going up to like nine dollars on the second page. So we have a couple listings still under like the five dollar mark, but they're starting to hit that six to seven dollar mark now. So, uh, we do have the ultra rares available for budget players. This is the one I use. I do have Secret Rares, but I use Ultra Rares. I'm a budget player. Uh, so, yeah, you do have that option if you do want to play Gene Raiders. But if you're a max rarity person, I would probably pick some of these up before they go even higher. Uh, like I said, I don't know if they're going to see any competitive play, but it's one of those fun archetypes that you get to mess around with. And I just feel like people might end up going for this just because it's fun to play. Uh, another card I was looking at. Uh, was Cyberstein so I noticed this was going up in price and I'm not sure why it's going up in price So if you guys know let me know down in the comments, but these were sitting around like three to four dollars uh, At the beginning at the end of uh, December and have started going up since uh, This is the secret rare copies from battles of legend and currently the price point on these is eight dollars eight dollars eight dollars eight dollars uh, going up to like the nine dollar price point, but still sitting around eight dollars. That's still a big price point jump since it was at a uh, four dollars uh, during in December. So let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know if you guys know what deck is using Cyberstein or if it's just one of those buyouts that people decided to go after just because. Uh, in Photon Hypernova, we're getting, I think, a new Spring and Spell card. And a uh, new, well, it's not a Springance X Seed, but it's it's an X Seed monster that uses a Springance uh, X Seed as material that you could just, you know, X Seed on top of it. So Springance Merrymaker was a probably like a, under a dollar uh, for the longest last year. Yeah, it was like pennies. Uh, and currently it is at 16 listings with the cheapest listing being at $5. So that's a big jump from being like under a dollar. So if you pick some of these up when they were cheap, you could probably sell them right now and make a nice little profit on that. Yeah, it looks like they're like $5 all across the board. Uh, but yeah, basically you use the Springins X Seed and then uh, you X Seed with the new uh, X Seed monster from Photon Hypernova. I think his name is Gigantic uh, Champion. Uh, let me take a look at it. No, I wrote it down somewhere on here. Oh, Jake. Well, it is Gigantic Champion. It is Gigantic Champion. And what Gigantic Champion does it, is it provides you a way to search out uh, a Therion monster, which would basically be uh, Therion Regulus, which is the car we're gonna, the next car we're going to be talking about. Uh, so Therion Regulus, is you can search with uh, the Gigantic Champion. And that's why Merry Maker is going up, because it's probably one of the easiest uh, X seats to bring out. Because uh, you could cheat it out using... I think it was like their field spell or like a continuous spell. Let me know down in the comments which one it is, but you could make this easily. Uh, it's also just a generic rank four that you have access to. Uh, so that's probably another reason uh, this is being bought out more than the uh, rank eight exit they have. 
So uh, moving on to Therion, regular still, uh, we took a look at this the other day when it was like hitting around $30. Uh, and right now it looks like it broke that $30 price point and it's starting to go up to the 34, 35, 35, 35, 38, 38, reaching the $40 price point on the first page. Uh, so we still have a couple copies that like under 35. So once these are gone, they just hit like 36, 38, and $40 price point. But yeah, you're able to search this now with the new uh, X Seed coming out in Photon Hypernova. So I think people are excited for that and just trying to pick it up. I don't know if it's going to see competitive play. I've seen what the deck could do, and it's pretty cool if it could go off. But I don't know how it's going to go against like tier and stuff uh, in, the, in the current meta. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, these are going up even further. Next card we're going to be talking about is Triple Tactics Talent. So we mentioned this, uh, I think, for the past two, three uh, market watches we've done. Uh, but it's consistently been going up. Uh, it started off like $10 and it went up to like $12. And currently it's starting to reach that $15 price point last time I checked. Uh, so we have a copy here at like $13, uh, $14.25, $14, 14 And then we reached the $14.74, which is basically $15. Uh, fourteen seventy eight, basically fifteen dollars. So yeah, they're starting to reach that fifteen dollar price point uh, for the Magnificent Maven Ultra Rare versions, and then we have the twenty twenty one ten versions. I think these are like fourteen ish, right? So that's thirteen twenty one. 1336 so basically almost reaching $14 1375 yeah these are reaching $14 and like I said these were sitting around like $12 last week so they've been consistently going up it does have a seeker rare which is basically the original printing uh, these are at 41 44 44 44 45 these haven't seen too much of a movement I'm pretty sure these will start going up too once these I think these could hit the $20 price point. So once these hit the $20 price point, these will probably go up to like 50 to 60. Uh, but we do have other th other uh, printings of this for anyone who has money and wants to buy these. Uh, but if you're a budget player like me, I definitely would still recommend getting your play sets of the Triple Tactics Talent because it's a staple that always, ke always keeps coming in and out of formats. Um, and I definitely think these could hit like that $20 price point. We have Zeus who has a secret rare printing as well. And it's ultra rare printing was sitting at like under $15 for the longest. And then suddenly it shot up to like, I think currently it's at like $20. So I feel like these could follow and have that same effect, especially cause it's a three of not just a one of like Zeus, but yeah, uh, that's triple tactics talent. Let me know what you guys think about triple tactics talent. And last card we're going to be talking about today is plunder patrol ship lease. So I know Plunder Patrol ships are, I think it was Cyber Storm Axis where they're getting their new monster. It was a Photon Hypernova. I need to look that up. Uh, but yeah, they are getting new support. And um, this is the, I guess their monster negation. It says you can discard one Plunder Patrol card. Oh, when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you could discard one Plunder Patrol card, negate the activation. If you do destroy it, uh, then it has a, another effect where it says then if this card is equipped with a plunder patrol card You could add a plunder patrol card from your deck to your hand. So it's a it's an in monster negations uh, It does have another printing uh, ultra rare printing From ghost from the past, but this is the nicer version uh, So it's going up in price these were sitting around like in October. They, they were sitting around three dollars then Yeah, November three three dollars as well uh, and they're starting to go up consistently over the past couple months so these are now at seven dollars seven dollars seven dollars seven dollars seven dollars seven dollars and reaching that eight dollar price point after those seven dollar um copies are are gone this guy has 67 copies so it's gonna be it's gonna take a while for that seven dollar price point to to break but i mean the closer we get to that let's actually take a look when it's coming out all right, so it looks like it is Photon Hypernova, so that's why it's going up uh, right now. Uh, Plunder Patrol Ship Jord is the new Synchro Pendulum uh, monster that they're getting, and it's actually pretty good for the deck. It's not too, too good, but it is good. So, yeah, that's why this card is going up. We also have, like, other Plunder Patrol cards kind of going up, but this one has gone up, like, 
I guess the highest and it's only it's running low at 23 listings but like I said that you also have the budget friendly version ultra rares if you want want to go with that and don't care about it being like the highest rarity but that's going to be it for today's market watch uh, make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel also go follow us on instagram at return of the chance we also started a tiktok i did my first tiktok video yesterday so you guys could go watch that it's also at return of the chance so go follow us on that uh, this is ricky 572 and we'll see you guys next time